Well, welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> Let's try that again. Welcome back to the channel. Um, this morning, I am at Greeter Falls, or at least I'm at the trailhead to Greeter Falls. Um, never been here before. I was coming up here to meet another photographer. Um, and he texted me a little bit ago to tell me that he had um, hit a deer on the way up here, totaled his car. Uh, I'm very glad to know that he's safe, but he's headed home, and I am uh, going to, to fight this trail by myself. Now, it's only about a half a mile, I think, down to Greeter Falls. Um, and one of, the, one of the things about the falls, if I remember correctly, is there is this spiral staircase that goes down to the falls. Um, now, my plan is to go down that staircase and back up that staircase and be done. Uh, however, there is another waterfall uh, about another half a mile into the trail that if I feel like it, I might go there. I have um, adjusted my backpack, and I am it, it's, a for, it's a forever problem <laughs> of deciding what to take. And so today, I have left the Canon M50 at home, and I am going to record uh, myself and the B-roll on my iPhone with the Zion uh, Smooth Mobile 2 gimbal. Uh, and so I'm recording with the Play app and no external microphone. So I don't know what the sound's going to be like when I get down to the falls, but we'll, we'll try to make the best of it that we can. Um, so let me show you what I have with me uh, because my pack is about 10 pounds lighter than it was yesterday, and I'm glad. All right, so here's what I've got. I've got my EOS R and I've got my 15 to 35 on it to start with. I've also put the circular polarizer on with the clamp to put my uh, neutral, uh, neutral density filters when I need them. And then I also have my 24 to 105 also has a circular polarizer on it with the uh, ring already for the neutral density filters. I don't know where my brain just went. I am carrying some water. I've got another water down here on the outside. <clears throat> and then I've got a couple of little packs. I usually have three of these. I left one at home, the heaviest one. Uh, this has things like another microphone if I need it. It has all the neutral density. It has, well, it has my 15, to, my 15 stop and my 10 stop. And then I've got all my other neutral density filters here. Uh, my regular iPhone case I had to take off. Um, and as in addition, yesterday I made the mistake of trying to take both tripods. Uh, and what wound up with the, my, my really good tripod is just so incredibly heavy it made the pack unbearable. So I've just got my travel tripod, and then I've got a tripod for uh, the gimbal that I can set this up if I need to, to take other shots. And we'll see how we go from there. So I'm just waiting on the sun to come up just a little more. Uh, it's just about sunrise right now, and the, the light's pretty good out here in the parking lot, but it won't be so good on the trail. So <clears throat> we'll get started in a few minutes and we'll see where we wind up. I'm looking forward to the day. Again, I've never been to Greeter Falls, so this will be a new experience. One of the trails here is to go off to the right to, let's see if I can get my hand in here, off to the right here to get to the Blue Hole, uh, which I'm assuming is a small swimming area, and it's a half a mile. And then if I go to the left, it's a half a mile to Greeter Falls. I might choose to go to Blue Hole later, but right now I want to get to Greeter Falls before the sun comes up too high. So we're going to head that direction.
Okay, so I've made it down. I have to say that from up there, it is pretty much straight down. Now there is a trail out of here this way toward Broad Tree Falls, but I'm told that it's difficult. And the easiest thing to do probably is to climb back up straight up to the top. So I will have several rest areas, I'm sure, as I go up there. But here's the falls behind me. Uh, beautiful rock layout here. Let me just turn the camera around and show you uh, my first composition. So with this first composition, I'm vertical and I'm getting all of these uh, roots and things and this tree in the picture. I'm shooting at F-16. Uh, I have done some focus stacking. So I have focused down here at the bottom. I focused here on the rocks at the bottom of the falls. And I've also focused up here at the top. And then I also did an underexposed image by two stops in order to sort of eliminate this bright spot up here at the top. So hopefully I can take those four images and get something worthwhile to get something of these falls. Uh, it looks really, really nice when it's slowed down. This was about a 10 second, um, 10 second exposure when I exposed here on the on the roots down here, it was 10 seconds. When I exposed here, it was eight seconds. And then when I exposed back up at the top, it was another 10 seconds. So it's a nice exposure. Um, the color polarizer has taken out most of the uh, brightness of the, of the water. Uh, and I don't have to have a neutral density filter yet. The sun's not high enough for that. So I'm gonna look around for another composition. All right, so I have another composition here where I'm trying to get, you can see this, well, you can see this rock I'm focusing on here. Um, and I was going to use a neutral density filter to slow this down more, but my camera bag is way over there and I've crossed over these rocks so many times now that I'm just getting lazy. So, I have it set on F22 at uh, 20 second exposure and I'm doing multiple exposures to do a, a uh, blend in Photoshop uh, and see if I can get this water. You can see here it's sideways, but you can see the water is not too bad. Um, and the polarizer is clearing up the water underneath so that I can see all of these rocks down here. I may get another shot of just this at some point, but right now uh, I am getting about 10 shots of this view right here. And you can see that uh, it's, just a, it's just a beautiful little place. But I'll be honest with you, I'm sort of running out of interesting things to see because i mean the falls are beautiful but photographs of falls are nothing if you don't have something in the frame now what i wanted to do excuse me what i wanted to do was walk out here and point my camera down and get this rock right here at 15 millimeter so that it really gives a dramatic view up to the falls however um that little spot of water right there that I'd have to stand in is deeper than my boots. So I chose not to do that. Uh, and for some reason, my camera has decided not to be horizontal with the, with the, uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, it's a work in progress. down there. I uh, took several pictures along the way, rocks and trees in the foreground to get the falls. And then I turned around and walked down the creek just a little ways and found this beautiful pool 
um, with a great reflection. I could not get close enough to it to get the shot I wanted, but maybe because I took about six shots I can stack, I'll be able to, I'll be able to uh, crop in enough to get rid of some of the stuff on the outset. It's a time where the 105 is not enough. A 70 to 200 would have been the perfect lens to have today. Uh, so, you know, Christmas. Um, and I am, uh, let me show you where I'm at here. So I have just come up the stairs from down here. These stairs are quite the hike. And they are actual steps, stairs, um, metal stairs. But they're a little higher tread than a normal staircase. So you got to step higher with every step. And then, of course, there's these steps that come up to this landing. And now I'm going to climb this spiral staircase. I can get it all up there. I do apologize for the poor video I'm getting here with this uh, gimbal as I learn how to use it again. Um, and from there, it's about a half a mile back to the car and it's pretty much all uphill. So I'll be uh, out of breath all the way up back to the car. I won't be videoing any of that. <laughs> Uh, but maybe we will uh, either finish out this video at the car. Let's see if I can get this back out here. Finish out this video at the car, or I'll just wait till I get home and do some edits on these pictures. Uh, if you do come here, keep in mind that there is no bathroom here. There is no porta potty available here. So make sure that you have finished all of your business that you need to finish, that you're not comfortable finishing in the forest. <laughs> make sure that you have all that done um, I am gonna stop at the blue hole I think on the way back just to see what I can get there and, and then we'll head back to the car well I did decide to go to uh, blue hole and so I went back by the car dropped off my gear so I didn't really want to carry all that stuff down here someplace I've never been I did read that this uh, this particular trail is pretty flat and easy and so far I'm finding that to be the case uh, blue hole is about a half a mile in this trail is very very easy should be easy to come back out of uh, if you do come to greeters falls then I would highly recommend that you carry a minimal amount of things in with you. Um, that climb back out with a backpack full of camera gear for somebody my age and my condition was not fun. Um, but if I had taken like a sling bag with a couple of lenses, travel tripod and my camera, uh, maybe an ND filter or two, I probably would have been a whole lot better off. This is what I am out doing. I am out learning, practicing, figuring out what works, what doesn't work, when I need certain equipment, when I don't need certain equipment. Um, and so I will uh, come back in when I get to the blue hole. Well, I made it to the blue hole and the trail was pretty even all the way down just until you get here. And then it uh, takes a pretty sharp nosedive, which means it'll be a nice, uh, nice walk back up. One of the things that I like, even here, you'll see here and back over here, somebody has come in and done rock stacking along here. And I did get some pictures of some at Greeters Falls, um, but of course I didn't bring my camera and stuff here. Um, the sun is up so high now, it'd be difficult to get a shot. All right, so I'm gonna put the camera way up here to keep the uh, sunrise, the sun out of the lens, but I'm done. Uh, I got about a half mile walk back. That should give me uh, a little over 5,000 steps for the day, maybe 6,000 on my way to 10. Um, I think the hike from the bottom of Greeters Falls up to the top of Greeters Falls 
think that counts as 10,000 steps on its own, but that's another story entirely. That's it for this week. We'll see you next time.